This part of the audio walkthrough will instruct you on how to import and set the scale for a single floor plan. Please make note of where the pause feature is on your media player. This feature will be needed throughout the walkthrough as you perform the hands-on tasks. The north wall in your ABC project is now complete and ready to be placed on a floor plan sheet. You will be continuing from the Walls in Project screen. Your north wall should be highlighted in blue. Double click on the highlighted wall or left click on the Change button to move to the Update Wall screen. Left click on the Place Wall button in the upper right corner of the screen. This brings you to the Update On Screen 2D Plan screen. We will call it the UOSP screen to simplify things. You are now going to select the digital floor plan for your ABC project. Note, you will go directly to UOSP when you bring in your first floor plan for the project. If you set a floor plan and then leave the program, you will go directly to the Place Wall screen, which has access to UOSP. Left-click on the button Select 2D Plans. This button automatically defaults to the last folder you selected a floor plan from. Since you are creating your first project, you will need to select the floor plan from the 2D Plans folder which was installed with the program. Once you are in the 2D Plans folder, select the floorplan.tiff by highlighting the file. Next, click on the Open button located in the lower right corner of the screen. This will select the blueprint file and bring you back to the UOSP screen. Note, it is highly recommended that you keep the floor plan images for all of your projects in one file folder location. If you keep your floor plan images in multiple locations, you will have to redirect the software to a new location every time you switch between bid projects that have different image locations. The UOSP screen has several fields or settings that you need to be familiar with before you move forward. The first of which is the Elevation field, which is located in the center of UOSP. If the elevation of your blueprint needed to be changed from the default setting of 0 feet 0 inches, this is the point at which this would occur. If the elevation of your job was 100 feet, of course you would change the elevation of the blueprint you are bringing in to 100 feet. For the purpose of the walkthrough, let us leave the elevation set to 0 feet 0 inches. Located under the elevation field are plan date and revision date. These fields do not require any information to advance in the project. At the bottom of UOSP are the selections for your floor plan resolution 4096, 2048, and 1024. Select the 2048 resolution. Note the higher resolution settings will require the use of more RAM and may slow down the compiling of your images. The floor plan resolution will need to be tailored to each individual machine's capabilities. We recommend that you utilize the 2048 resolution at first and increase it to 4096 in the future if your machine performs well or if you are having a hard time reading the floor plans. You may now click on the OK button, which is located in the lower right corner of UOSP. After a few seconds, you will be brought to the On-Screen 2D Plan screen, or OSP, and the floor plan image should now be displayed. OSP is a screen from which you will edit your plan images and set the scale for the entire project. You will first need to learn how to navigate the screen. To navigate the screen, which does not move the floor plan image itself, but moves your point of view, you can utilize the wheels located in the lower left corner of the screen. 
these two wheels will move you up and down or on the X and Y axes. The wheel in the lower right will zoom the image in and out. Pause the walkthrough and try these features now. You may also navigate the screen by holding down the Control and Alt keys on your keyboard while you hold down the left button on your mouse. If done properly, you will see a hand appear in the place of the cursor on your screen and the image moves when you move your mouse. Some mice have a rotating wheel between the left and right buttons. Rotate this while holding down the Control, Alt, and the left mouse button and you will zoom the image in and out. Now would be a good time to pause the walkthrough and familiarize yourself with these controls. After you have familiarized yourself with these controls, you will want to position the floor plan image in the middle of your screen with the four corners still visible. You will also want to be able to see the 104 foot length of the wall located at the top of the floor plan image. The next thing we are going to do is set the scale of this floor plan using the 104 foot length. The top of the OSP screen contains your list box. This area is aptly named because it contains a list of all the floor plans and their description that have been brought into the project. In the list box, you will find a line with the description called scale slash shared placements. Left click on the box marked show to the left of scale slash shared placements you will see a transparent gray box appear with your print image. Now click on the MANIP or manipulate box next to the show box that you just checked and you will see green squares appear around the gray box. Point and left click your mouse on the dark screen and hold the mouse button down. While holding the left mouse button down, Move the dark window, which is called the scale manipulator. Slide the box to the right so you can see the upper left green square of the manipulator. Our object now is to move the scale manipulator green corners over the left and right hash marks of the 104 foot length on the blueprint. Again, in this demo, we are going to use a length of 104 feet, which is located at the top of the blueprint. With your mouse, left click and hold on the green square in the upper left corner of the scale manipulator. Now drag the green square to the left hash mark that begins the 104 foot length of the wall. Now click on the wheel marked Transax and move the wheel to the left until you can see the upper right green box of the manipulator. Click on that upper right green box and drag it to the right hash mark of the 104 foot dimension. The scale manipulator is now set to a dimension of 104 feet. You enter that 104 foot dimension in the horizontal field in Set the Project Scale in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You have now finished importing your blueprint and setting the scale for this demo project. We will return to the on-screen 2D plan screen or OSP at a later time when we create a project that has a multi-sheet floor plan to import. Click on the button Save and Close which is located at the bottom of the right hand corner of your screen. 